हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू ग्राम स्मिथ ऑर्थोगोनलाइजेशन प्रोसीजर एंड टू डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स वेयर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन दिस पीडीएफ एंड दोस टू प्रॉब्लम्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद वन मोर कांसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू कन्वर्जन ऑफ continuous awgn channel into a vector channel so again this is the very important question guys so there are high chances that this topic uh, they would be asking the question to derive the expression of the conversion between continuous awgn channel into a vector channel okay so that's why i thought to do this video so please like this video and let us uh, get to the concept now so firstly you should be knowing the continuous awgn channel so awgn stands for additive white gaussian noise so it deals with the gaussian noise so the probability distribution function with respect to gaussian noise we need to be analyzing it with respect to the basis functions whatever we have dealt with in the previous section that is gram smith right so based on that we should be trying to convert this awgn channel into a vector channel okay whereas on the other hand vector channel is basically the components of the deterministic signals which are going to be getting translated into the spectral density okay so that's why the linking between awgn and vector channel would be varying with respect to this factor that is power spectral density that is n not by 2 okay so based on this now conversion we are uh, uh, coming with the conclusion of deriving one expression for this conversion okay so yeah let us get started now if we consider x of t as input to the bank of n product integrators or correlators then x of t would be given as si of t plus w of t okay where t where this t function varies from 0 to capital t where this capital t is the time period for a particular signal to flow then i varies from 1 2 and up to m signals okay where w of t is the sample function of the white gaussian noise process that is capital w of t of zero mean and power spectral density n not by 2 okay so the factor n not by 2 would be playing a vital role in this gaussian noise because uh, that spectral density would be deciding whether the signal would be efficient for the uh, conversion or not okay yeah we find that the output of correlator j is the sample value of the random va random variable x of j whose sample value is defined by where in this case the sample value of this uh, capital x of j is given by small letter x of j that is varying from the integration 0 to t x of t phi j of t dt okay so if we simplify it we would be getting sij plus wj where j varies from 1 to n okay so now x of j equal to integration from 0 to t x of t phi j of t dt okay now here in this case uh, you should be uh writing the x of t substitution as si of t plus w of t into phi j of t dt then uh, split it separately uh, x of j equal to si of t plus si of t phi j of t dt plus w of t phi j of t dt so it would be totally getting sij plus wj okay so the first component sij is the deterministic component of x of j here whatever we get due to the transmitted signal si of t as shown by sij equal to integration from 0 0 to, to t si of t phi j of t dt okay so that would be replaced by sij and this is replaced by wj okay the second component wj is the sample value of random variable wj due to channel noise where w of t as shown as wj equal to integration from 0 to t w of t phi j of t dt okay so that only we have replaced it this complete component we have replaced by sij and this complete component we have replaced by wj here okay consider next a stochastic process that is x dash of t whose sample function is given by small letter x x dash of t is related to the received signal x of t as follows okay how the equation is related it is given by x dash of t equal to x of t minus summation of j equal to 1 to n xj into phi j of t where x dash of t is equal to si of t plus w of t So substitute the value of x of t minus summation of j equal to 1 to n sij plus wj into phi j of t okay so after substituting substituting we would be getting this term right so that we have substituted in case of x of j so now we know that si of t equal to summation j equal to 1 to n sij into phi j of t okay therefore x dash of t would be given as 
W of t minus summation of j equal to 1 to n wj phi j of t that is x dash of t equal to w dash of t okay so that's why this would be this term would be completely getting replaced by the stochastic term with respect to the sample function w dash of t okay so now the sample function x dash of t depends solely solely on the channel noise w of t we must we may thus express the received signal as this expression that is the final expression for the conversion is given in terms of x of t that is x of t is equal to summation j equal to 1 to n xj phi j of t plus w dash of t okay so the total conversion for the sample function x dash of t would be given in this way okay where w dash of t is a reminder term that must be included on the right hand side of the above equation to preserve equality okay so the work of this w dash of t is only to balance the left hand side as well as the right hand side in order to have the stable channel noise okay so that's why they have told us specifically to preserve equality the expansion of the above equation is random that is stochastic due to the channel noise at the receiver input okay so that the receiver input the channel noise would be random in nature so that's why uh, in order to equate, we need to be having some terms. So that term is given by the W dash of T here. Okay. So these many derivation or these are the expressions which you need to be noting down when they ask the question of conversion of continuous AWGN channel into a vector channel. Okay. So the uh, we have taken the white Gaussian noise in case of W of T. With respect to that, we have represented that in term of the vector channel X of T. Okay. Which would be depending on the random channel okay so this is the final expression guys which you need to be noting down and this is the complete derivation okay so just go through it once they might be asking this question so that's why i thought to do this video okay so yeah that's all for this video guys we'll see you in the next video with some other concepts of module one stay tuned thank you